obviously we need some components to make this. We will need an ESP8266 microcontroller board and an 5 volt relay module. I am using a custom PC for this but you can also use a breadboard. This is our circuit diagram. Now flow the circuit diagram and make your connection. Now we also need a switch board, LED bulb and some tools. Now we will remove the insulator from all the wires. I am using two relays for this. You can use as many relays as your device requires. So before we proceed, let's discuss the pinout of the relay module. So the left one is called normally open port and the middle one is called common port and the right port is called normally closed port. Now I am connecting the switch board and an LED bulb with the relay module. And please be extremely careful during this connection as 230 volts of current will be flowing through this, which can easily cause injury or even death. Now you can see that the switch board has two terminals. One of the terminals goes to the inner port of the relay module and the remaining terminal of the switch board connects to the one of the terminals of the LED bulb. and ensure that all the connections are properly insulated. Now you can see that the LED bulb also has two terminals. One of the terminal goes to the inner port of the second relay module and the another terminal of the LED bulb which is also connected to the switch board goes to the one of the terminals of the 230 volt power supply. And finally connect the C port of the two relays together using a piece of wire and then connect them to the remaining terminal of the 230 volts power supply. And after completing all these messy connections, connect the ESU board to your computer. Now open the browser and search for Blink. After you log in, you can click on this new template and create one template. I am labeling it as Home Automation. We will select the board as ESP8266 connection type Wi-Fi and give the description of this project. Now we will press on the Done button. 
Now click on the data streams. Here we will create a new data stream. So we will use a virtual pin. And because it is for the first relay, we will name it as relay1. The alias name will also relay1. We will select the pin as virtual v0 and the data type as integer. Then we will press the create button. Next we will again create a data stream for second relay. Now we will go to web dashboard and here we will search for switch. Now drag this to your main board and go to settings. And level this as device 1 and select the data stream as v0. You can also change the color of this and we will click on save button. Again go to settings for the second relay and label this as device 2. And select the data stream as v1. And here we will click on new device. We will add a new device from the template. Here we will get all the credentials we need for the code. So just click on it and it will get copied. Now open the Arduino ID and paste it on the top of this code. Next thing you need to change is the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. So enter the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. So first we will select the board that is Node MC 1.0 ESP 2LE module and also select the port for this Node MCU. Now you have to install the Blink library. And then we will upload this code. I have put the ESP8266 and the relay module inside this box. Now I am plugging in a mobile phone charger for testing. Here you can see that our ESP8266 is online. Here you can see that when I turn on device 2, the bulb instantly glows. However, when I turn on device 1, which is our mobile charger, it does not turn on. Then I thought I made a mistake somewhere in the connection. I checked all the connection. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Then my stupid brain realized that I had forgotten to turn on the switch on the switchboard. After turning it on, I tried again. Now it's perfectly working. Go to the template you had just created and then press the plus icon and add two switches and select the data stream of the switches.
Press the back button and go to the main dashboard. So friends, I hope you like this video, then hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I will see you in the next one.